And this is what I'm going to use for this technique. I picked up this burlap. It was $3.99 and I picked up a pillowcase. I like picking up pillowcases for just the fabric. Uh, this one was $1.49 and I think the blue tag is 25% off. So I'm going to cut that one up and use it. And I'm going to show you how to do graphics on the fabric using mailing sheet labels. This is so cool. So hang tight. I'm going to add a graphic, uh, fabric graphic on the front of this basket that I picked up at the thrift store. And I have this frame and I'm going to use a burlap and put a beautiful quote on it in the middle of this. I'm going to work on the picture frame first. So I have to see what size of burlap I want. And this frame on the inside is nine by 12. Um, and I want the burlap a little bit smaller. So I think I'm going to cut it about seven and a half by 10. I want the edges to have this frayed look like this. So I'm just going to, this is actually my little Cricut tool and I'm just gonna pull away along the edges so I can have that frayed look on all sides. I've got it all cut to size and now I'm just gonna take my iron and just press it so it's nice and flat. And I have both pieces ready to start the iron-on transfer. I'm going to be using my Mod Podge mat. You can use gloss, just remember you're going to have a glossy finish, or you can also use the fabric Mod Podge. If you use a fabric, then you'll be able to wash it in the washing machine, um, but these aren't going to be washed, so I'm just going to use my Mod Podge mat. And you want to put a liberal coat over all of the fabric and put it right out to the edges so it doesn't fray anymore. And I have both pieces of fabric on a piece of parchment paper. That way it won't stick to your table and you're protecting your work surface. I've got them both completely coated with the Mod Podge. I'm gonna set them aside and let them dry completely. These have both completely dried and now I'm gonna put a second coat of the Mod Podge on them. Now, this is the secret ingredient to do your transfer. These are old CD labels. Um, I found them at the thrift store for $2.99. They're the exact same thing as mailing labels. What you actually want is you want the carrier sheet underneath. You want that plastic sheet. So you're gonna take off all the labels and this is the sheet that you want underneath. Now you can find these sheets at an office supply store. Sometimes you can find them in the dollar store but I always, always find them in the thrift store because people don't use the CD um, labels anymore, the mailing labels that much. So check around and see where you can pick them up. Make sure when you're printing, you're printing on the shiny side and feed it into your printer properly. I have the graphics all printed out. I made sure that you reverse the text, otherwise when you put it on your project, it'll be backwards. And this will only work on a laser jet printer. It will not work on an ink jet printer um, because of the different variations of ink. So I've got the big one printed and then the other one, you have to make sure that you don't touch the ink either that it because it will smear. So we're just about ready to put it on our project. Okay, these both have two coats of Mod Podge put on them completely dry. Now, I have tried to do this technique just the way it is right now and do the iron-on transfer. It will work sometimes, but it wasn't 100% of the time. What I do find works the best is if I just take another light coat of Mod Podge and put it on top and then iron on while this Mod Podge is still a little bit tacky the iron-on transfer works much better. Okay, you want to put a towel down and then keep your parchment paper underneath this. Otherwise, if you just put this on the towel and then you ironed it, you're going to have it ironed to your towel. So we've got just a light coat of the Mod Podge that's still wet, it's still damp, and we're going to lay that graphic right where we want it 
Try not to touch the graphics exactly where you want it. Make sure it's centered really well. And then you're gonna take another piece of parchment paper and lay it on top. And you're just gonna iron on your graphic. This is on the highest setting with no steam. And you're just gonna take your iron and just slowly go up and down. Let that Mod Podge and that ink melt together. Now it may sizzle a little bit because that Mod Podge is wet, but that's okay. It dries really quickly. So you wanna keep ironing back and forth until all of that Mod Podge is completely dry. Now you wanna let it completely dry before you pull this off. Um, and you can just lift it a little bit and see if it's transferring well. And if it isn't, fold it back down put the parchment paper back on top, and then just give it another iron. It might take a little bit to get all that ink transferred, but you just can keep checking, and then when you feel that it's all transferred and you completely let it cool, then you can pull off that top carrier paper. Okay, this is completely cooled. That's really important to make sure that you let it cool completely before you peel it off. That way you're gonna know that the um, transfer has all stuck down. So here it goes. Oh, this is so cool. And there you have it. Now you can see there was a little bit of ink that didn't transfer um, down here, but that's okay because I think it looks really rustic and I love that look. Okay, now we're ready to do this one. Same process, we're gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge on the top so it's wet. And then we're gonna lay the graphic on top of it. Make sure that it's centered exactly where you want it. And then we're going to iron it. Okay, now this is all pressed and cooled down really well. And actually this method works really, really well on a smooth cotton fabric. It's a little bit more difficult on that burlap that I did to get it so you could see how some of it didn't transfer very well. But on this type of prop, um, fabric, it works fantastic. So I'm just gonna slowly peel it away. And you can see how there's no ink left. It transferred really well. And look at that. I picked up this frame at um, the thrift store, paid a couple dollars for it, and I then spray painted it black, put it in my little uh, to-do corner, and I think what I want to do is I wanted to stress it a little bit um, and not make it such a flat black color. So I'm going to go ahead and just sand along the uh, whole outside of the frame. Okay, and this is ready to put into the frame. I am going to put some of my homemade Mod Podge on the back of it to glue it in. And then I'm also gonna use my hot glue gun a little bit um, just in the corners to hold it in place while it dries. And I'm gonna do the same process to put it on the basket. And there you have a really simple, easy way to transfer your graphics or your photos. This will even work with photos printed on your laser jet printer onto those carrier sheets to create fantastic pieces of fabric to use on your crafting projects. I have both of these graphics in my Etsy store. If you're interested in purchasing them, make sure you use the code SAVE50 and you'll get 50% off all of the graphics in my store. I've also just created a newsletter that's right full of tips and tricks and lots of DIY projects. I'd love to have you follow along over there. The link for that will be down in the description and it has a discount code for my Etsy store and some free graphics. And if you like this video, I'm sure you'll love this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.